So today we are interpreting qualitative graphs. Now a qualitative graph is a graph that doesn't necessarily have any numbers on it, kind of like this one. So we rely on the shape of the graph to figure out what's going on. All right. So for this example, it says write a scenario that the graph could represent. Now our x-axis is time in minutes and our y-axis is the distance in miles. And notice there's five intervals in this graph. One, two, three, four, five. An interval is just a section of the graph. And if you want to know more about intervals of a qualitative graph, click on the link below in the description. And I have a whole video on increasing, decreasing, and constant intervals in a qualitative graph. But let's kind of go through this example here. Now notice, in our example here, our first interval starts at zero and is increasing, all right? So we can tell that, for example, let's say this is a jogging scenario. You're leaving home and going jogging. So notice in this example, we left home and now we're going for a jog at a fairly constant rate right here because it's a straight line, okay? So that's the first interval. Now, the second interval, notice, is flat. That's a constant interval, meaning the distance doesn't change during this interval. See how it's whatever distance this is at? We don't know what number it is, but we do know that dis distance didn't increase. It stayed the same. So in our story, we could say, well, we stopped for some reason. Maybe we stopped to take a break. Okay? So that's the second interval. Now in the third interval, notice we're increasing again. So we are increasing our distance as the time progresses. But notice it's a lot flatter than that first section. So although we're, we're kind of continuing, we're not going at the same rate as we were before. So we could say something like, well, we continued to jog, but this time we're going slower than before. Maybe we're walking this time. All right, that leads us to the fourth interval right here. And again, notice that fourth interval is flat. So again, we're not making any distance right here. So for some reason or another, we stopped. So we can say for that fourth section, oh, we stopped and took another break right there. And then finally, this fifth section. Notice in this fifth section, we're decreasing wherever we were now we go all the way back down to zero. So in this case, maybe we, after our break, we just went all the way back home, all right? But also notice, not just that we're decreasing, but look at how steep this line is compared to the previous one. So we're going pretty quickly, maybe about as quickly as over here. This steepness and this steepness, very similar, although they're in opposite directions. So we can say for that fifth section, we probably jogged all the way home. All right. So the key to qualitative graphs is that there are no numbers on here. So you're really relying on the shape of the graph. If it's increasing, constant, or decreasing. And you're also paying attention to how steep the lines are because that tells you something about the graph. All right. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, Good luck on your math and I will see you next time.